I'm Timothy. I'm Mikey. We've been together for three and a half years. My name is Wyatt. And my name's Roxanne. And we've been together for about a year and a half now. And today we're playing True or False, Divorce Statistics. I don't understand when people like don't believe in divorce because if it needs to happen, it's for the best. I feel like divorce, if for the right reasons, is important. I mean, it's it's. I mean, it has its, it has its place. Let's play true or false divorce statistics. People under 50 get divorced at almost twice the rate as people 50 and over. I'm gonna say true. True. I feel like. Old people think that you like have to stay married and stay in unhappy relationships a lot more. I was thinking more like, kids finally went to college, let's call it. People will be getting married so fast these days. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Women get married again after divorce or death of a spouse more often than men. Alright, I'll go true. True on this. I probably would, but who knows? I can see that. I feel like women take like a pretty long time to either work on themselves or just like mourn or be sad about, you know, their, their relationship that's ended, whereas men are probably usually more hyped to just get back in the game. Yeah, it's like that meme where it's like the guy, like the first week after they, they break up, the guy's like, he's like free and liberated and then like three months passes and he's crying and yeah. the girl's all free. <laughs> Like switch, it's but he's like quick to like rebound. Yeah. yeah. Since 2000, the overall U.S. divorce rate has been on a slight decline. I don't think so. False. Whoa! Dang. Maybe they're thinking a little more logically before getting married. I thought more people would I know, be I getting more divorced. Would be getting I guess that's good. That's a good thing. That is a good thing, though. When asked whether divorce is usually the best solution when a couple can't seem to work out their marriage problems. 10% of women 44 years and younger said they strongly disagree. I, I guess that's true. I feel like most young people probably think that I'll there's agree. a better solution. Yeah. I think it's true. I'm gonna say true. I've gotten every single one of these. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. That's pretty crazy. All right. I mean, the other option is like, going to therapy mm -hmm. and like learning how to talk to each other right. so the majority of men and women aged 44 and younger disagreed with the statement marriage has not worked out for most people i know i'm gonna go false, false. i got it <laughs> you know i'm just rolling with the punches here i'm gonna get one of these i know it Dang, we're, we're horrible at this game. A 2013 Brown University study found that 75% of the participants were more likely to be divorced if they had divorced friends. Are you going to go with false? I'm going to go with true. Really? True. Yeah. What? Okay. I feel like it's true, definitely. Because like, if your friends are divorced, you might just like be thinking about it like, oh yeah, maybe I can be I don't divorced. need my man. Yeah, exactly, yeah, girl. exactly. Like, I don't need my person if they can do it without their person. Second and third marriages are more likely to end in divorce than first marriages are. Oh, uh, that's a tricky one. I can see how if I could see it you're getting ways. divorced like two or three times, maybe you're just going to be unhappy in all Second of them. Second and third marriages, you're going to get divorced in all of them. So I'm going to say true. I'm just going to go with false. <laughs> that makes sense. Does it? Yeah, because like the first one you're like really holding out and the other ones it's like, I've survived this Been before. There, yeah. Research studies suggest that living together before marriage decreases a couple's likelihood of divorce. I think that's true. That's true. That's big facts. False. False? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, oh, so it's like this then. Oh, okay. I was okay, going to say, great. that's it, crazy. I feel like it's important to live with your it's partner before important. marriage. You I'm some... super clean. <laughs> Someone else is not super clean. So like you get to so... like learn your partner's quirks and like how they're actually exactly. like on a daily basis. Exactly. Not just like what they choose and to And sometimes those little things can be a deal breaker, to be honest. Oh. I think so. 
She says yes. I say no. I don't know. It's just like that. a legal precaution. Like, why would you want to come after my money if we get a divorce anyway? You know, it's just no. I know, but like, you have to go into it thinking you're never gonna get divorced anyway. So, you know, I probably would suggest that. <laughs> I was gonna say like, we're not rich, so like, why bother? <laughs> but I see it more as like it's just like easier in the event that <clears throat> two people get separated. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you're just like, that's it, you know? Okay, we're getting a prenup. <laughs> <laughs>